2023 CCMA Content Row here in Hamilton with Tim and the Glory Boys. I'm Tracy Lynn from Hot Country. Guys, welcome again. Oh. Thank you for having oh us. My Thank God. you. Good to see you. you. Happy to be here. Love what you've done with the cubicle, Tracy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you know, we worked hard yes. on decorating our yeah, cubicle well here on Content Row. Banner, click, done. Yeah, you yeah. know what? It seems to be the trend this weekend. <laughs> Let's talk about the vibe, CCMA weekend. How are you guys feeling? Because, I mean, you've had, like, some really cool stuff happening with music lately. Yeah. I mean, come on, Tim and the Glory Boys hanging out with Hot Country. I feel like you guys just need to take the mic and just tell me everything. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> so we're doing lots of awesome stuff. Yeah. <laughs> No, we're, we're excited. We had our first top five. So I that know. was with Take Me Back Road yeah. with High Valley. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gunning uh, on the next single for a top four. Wow. That's the new yeah. goal. Pushing yeah. hard for it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that, it, it is, uh, all of the accolades are surprising to us. We were an independent band for seven, eight years before signing with Sony and being a part of this whole circus. And uh, it's just never lost on us. We're just a bunch of uh, coolish dads trying to trying to squeeze some some fun out of life. As long as, long as our wives let us, we uh, yeah we're on the road having having this party. Oh my gosh! Well, let's do you want this back? You, you're more than welcome. To, I mean, you could ask your band members for you know. I hold the last one. It's your turn. Oh, okay. So Colin was was doing a little rap right before we went live, but I felt like he's not ready to let us in on this rap. I'm not sure, but. It's undeveloped right now. Guys, you talk about the family support. We're talking about new music. You're hitting records with your music. Where are we finding inspiration for everything? Because if you haven't seen them live yet, you definitely want to because you bring a whole new vibe live in person. Tell us about the inspiration that's coming from you guys. Honestly, our live shows, we just try to have as much fun as we possibly can. And it's old school country instruments, but brought into this kind of pop bluegrass, we're calling canoe grass. And it's boot stomping, fun, Canadiana. modern, Canadiana. We just like to break rules. Yes. We get off on breaking the rules. They're rebels, if you haven't yeah, figured that out right now. Jacket. Yeah. <laughs> they got boots, Don't leather jackets, us. and hats. And kids. And wives. <laughs> families. And stuff. Yeah. Mortgages. Yeah. <laughs> and Massive mortgages that I didn't lock in. Yes. You Variable know, rate mortgages. Okay, well, now that he just, you know, depressed all of us here on Content <laughs> Row, let's talk about something that's very near and dear to your heart. Food for Hunger. Yes. Yes. Because of Tim and the Glory Boys, I ha I sponsor a little did. girl. Yeah. Oh, I think I remember that. Yeah. Yes. Nina. Amazing. Oh, my gosh. You guys have changed my life. So I've been waiting to tell you guys I that, that that has brought so much joy to my life. Uh, amazing. And, I mean, how do you guys find time? I mean, you, you're not only singing, entertaining us dads, husbands, friends, you're giving back to communities and you're, you're making to. an awareness. Why is that so important for you? I don't know. It just always has been. I think because it's so rewarding to be able to give back. Did you know that we just, Colin and I just came back from Rwanda? A week ago. A week ago. Really? Yeah. So we visited another African country in East Africa where we've worked with Food for the Hungry, yes. uh, a humanitarian organization that we love that you um, sponsored a child through. Um, and we, we had been to lots of the other countries, but Rwanda we'd never been to, so we visited uh, uh, just some of the, the, there's a genocide museum, which is the heaviest stuff you can kind of encounter. Yes. Um, and, and also like a bunch of the communities that FH is working in where all the hope is springing eternal. Like it's just so cool to see 30 years later how um, that country's turned around and how much help there is. And the people are beautiful, the children, our, uh, we shot a hockey game with them, Aww. another hockey game. Oh. Like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and they, they, they kicked our asses <laughs> that's okay. yeah. once again. We didn't think they'd even heard of hockey, yeah. but yeah, they oh, destroyed yeah. us. So, awesome. yeah. Tim and the Glory Boys hanging out with Hot Country. Guys, any messages to your Hot Country fans? I felt like, you know what, like dance, sing, do whatever you want. This is for you. Congratulations on everything so far with the awards, with the music. We love Tim and the Glory Boys. Oh, we there love being loved. I feel like thing. I feel like when you say you're hot country fans, I know it's the name of the station, but I want to speak to the ugly country fans right now. <laughs> Y'all matter too. <laughs> Do you guys have anything to say? Oh, I Can't love, top that. That's that's a great <laughs> goodbye. We uh we love you, Tracy. This yeah. this is always one of the highlights. <laughs>
<laughs> Tim and the Glory Boys. I, I, I just Tim and the Glory Boys, guys. Follow them. Go to the concerts. Get their music. New music's coming out. And uh, congrats, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.